loading time of your blog or your website plays an important role in the search engine ranking and as well as the average time users spend on your website. If your website loads in more than three seconds, it's really bad. That's something you should definitely work on and optimize. Guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Out. And this is a season of speeding up our website. Many of you might not be knowing this, but this loading time of your blog or your website actually plays an important role in the search engine ranking and as well as the average time users spend on your website. So if your website loads in more than three seconds, it's really bad. I think that's something you should definitely work on and optimize to make your website load really fast. There's a tool called tools.pingdom.com and here you can just enter your website URL, select the location from which you want to test and click on start test. This would show you how fast your website load. Now in this case, our website load in less than one second, which is pretty remarkable in my opinion. Well, if you have not seen this one video, which I published like a few days back, and in this video, I've actually optimized one website in detail to reduce the loading time by close to 50%. And this is one video that you must watch to understand that how optimization happens, what all you can do in, on WordPress to optimize your website. Now this video is an extension of that video, but you can actually use it without watching that video as well. And what we are doing in this case, in this case, we are looking into this plugin called Asset Cleaner Page Speed Booster. And this plugin is quite useful because what it does is, so you might be using 50 different plugins and on some of the pages like this about page on Shout Me Loud. Now we are not using any contact form or few other script but it is also loaded by the plugins that we are using on the blog. So using this plugin, you can actually block loading of this kind of script, which helps you to increase the loading time of the page by a great extent, especially if you're offering speeding up WordPress as a service, which you can and make really good money. Well, this is one plugin which will take your optimization to the next level. And in this video, I'm actually going to use this plugin and show you how it works. So there are a few features which I'm pretty uh, sure of. There are a few features that I still don't know much about this plugin. So that's something we might discover while trying this plugin or something that you have to discover of your own. Well, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is go to WordPress dashboard, click on add new plugin and then search for asset. So this will show up this particular plugin. Now simply click on install now, install it and click on active to activate the plugin. Now from here, you actually go to settings, like getting started. And this kind of shows you like what all could be done with this plugin. So let's click on start optimization. Okay, let's click on CSS and JS manager. Click on settings and we are just going to use the basic settings and then you can definitely play with it to do a lot more. So what is that manage in the dashboard? This basically shows you all the assets which are loading in the back end, in the post edit section. You can also use this plugin to show this message in the front end. And there are a few other settings. You can just keep them default and click on update all settings. Now let me just quickly go to the home page to see if nothing is broken. So everything looks good. Now what we are doing is we are trying to optimize this page, which is about Shout Me Loud. And the reason is it's a page where we are not using comment and a lot of other features. So this is going to be very handy. Now I've already run a test to figure out like this page is taking about 1.12 second on tools.pingdom. On Google page speed, it has a score of 17 on mobile and 61 on desktop and GT metrics is showing 3.4 seconds. It's kind of like weird because when we try different, different page testing tool, you know, it shows the different result, which is bad. But anyways, the page load size is 1.84 MB. Here it's 2.1 MB. That's a lot of difference there, but we'll ignore those thing and let's see what this plugin can do for us. So now we're going to refresh the page and it should show up all the script which are being loaded at the footer. Here we are. So let's see which all script we can disable. So basically it will be different for your blog and it's different for my blog. So based on your blog, you should be knowing that which plugin you really need on this particular page. Now I'm not showing ads on this page. So this is plugin that I use for showing ad. Let's just unload it. Now author attribute, I don't need this either. Click to do it is there, convert kit maybe custom post type so when you're not sure just skip those part like you know even if you end up disabling few scripts it should help okay now easy digital download okay technically i don't need it let's disable this okay so jetpack yes we need pixel caffeine fix widget we don't have a widget so let's disable that okay we're not using any table so let's disable that theme my login we're not using 
Okay. So yeah, we have disabled like quite good number of script. Once that's done, click on update. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Let's open this in a new incognito tab to ensure nothing is broken. Everything looks good. Now the only thing is to test it again. So let's do that. Let's retest 3.4 and 1.8 MB. Let's see what result it gives. And meanwhile, we'll also add here to see if it makes any difference on the Google page speed inside too. All right, so actually no difference. Not sure why it's not showing any difference, but technically it should improve the page loading time. Now in this case, it's actually increased. Wow, that's weird. Let's do this. Let's check on ping dom as well. Maybe another best way to check it is by clear cache. Let's see if that helps. Because the chances are that it might be picking up the same data which was there. Okay, cache is disabled. Let's do another analysis. And let's retest this one as well. But before that, let's preload cache so that it basically create a cache version of this page, but this time without the scripts that we were using. Okay, so yeah, now you can see a considerable amount of difference. The mobile score has moved from 17 to 27. Desktop has moved from 61 to 81. Now that's a considerable amount of difference. Okay, now let's do another test here and see what happens here. While they are doing the test, let's look at the other factor also. So this plugin also have bulk unloads and bulk enable. So basically, let's say if you are using contact form on just two, three pages, you can make sure that all the script that is being loaded by that plugin loads only on those few pages. Now that is one feature that I'm still need to explore, which I'll be exploring in a while. But something that you should know, and if you are somebody who's into development or is offering client services, or even you need to optimize your own website, well, this is how you can actually use Asset Cleanup. Let's see the score here. Okay, so the number of requests has gone down because now we are loading less scripts. Here, there is not much difference. It's still the same. I'm not sure why, but anyways, the best way to test it is after making changes, clear your cache. Preload the cache if you're using WP Rocket. If you're not using WP Rocket, just open the page on incognito mode so that the cache is built on the backend if you're using the cache plugin and then run the test. So yes, I believe like it's a considerable amount of difference that we can see here. So here we go. It's another useful plugin that you can use. Let me know if you're using any other plugin. I would love to hear from you any plugin that I haven't checked out and has been helping you to lower down the loading speed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, just a quick reminder that if you like this video, do like and subscribe to my channel for more such updates. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.